Okay, we got Arrow. Um, come on, come on, come on. And she's really coming along nicely. Um, I think with her, it's been interesting. She really ebbs and flows. She gets, she has really good um, streaks, and then she has streaks where she really struggles. Um, we're, it, it's, you know, we're not working on a lot of different things. Um, we're being really foundational with everything. Heel, I put a huge emphasis on um, getting her to figure out where the position is, where she needs to be. Um, some days she, she struggles greatly with it, and then last night uh, she blows my mind because I took her out uh, towards the end of the, end of the evening, it was getting pretty dark. Um, I actually recorded it with my phone and put it on Instagram, but um, she healed off lead, and she healed off lead perfectly, and she was in position, and her eyes were to me the whole time. And So she has these little moments um, of what I call kind of maturing moments, and then she has these little moments that become very puppy. Um, we just brought in another other puppy that is a couple weeks younger than her and that brings out the, the puppy for sure in her although the two of them that one becomes much looser and much more puppy like around arrow arrow kind of is fighting through the temptation um, but she's on lead if she wasn't on lead I wouldn't have a chance so this lead is becoming a real powerful tool um, it's the adjustable leader ah, 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 come on so I don't want to give her a chance I'm just gonna move her I don't want to give her a chance to dig into the gravel and start making a mess that's part of the reason why we're still off the grass in the grass would be way more tempting to her but but we've been using this as a tool to work her on lead and then we're letting her actually drag it and she doesn't realize ah, ah, ah. good ah, ah, ah. here she does realize it there so I'm gonna show you that in a minute but we're slowly transitioning her to go off lead it's really early uh, that little bit of off lead work um, I'm not even gonna, I don't wanna put it in the back of my mind because it's so early. We're gonna be on lead with her for a while, um, months. So, but her biggest struggle, quite honestly, is the kennel. Um, she came in not very comfortable in the kennel. I think she truly hated it. Um, I don't think she was put in it very often. I think they, they, her owner struggled with that part. They told me about it. You know, one of the things they'd really like to do is figure out how to put her in a kennel because she can't get in there. Um, it's a mental thing, I think, more than anything for her right now. So we are struggling through that, but boy, she's made big strides. And when I say that, I, I, I post a lot of the stuff on our social that she's quiet. Uh, that's a real small percentage of the time. A lot of times she's not quiet. When we're working some of our other dogs, you can hear her in the background. Um, so in some of our other series that we're doing, our Cody series, and um, now we're gonna be starting that little puppy. But anyway, so we are coming along, but heel is something that I'm focusing on. Patience, remote sit, is something I'm putting a lot of emphasis on. Um, I actually, good. You see that temptation? Leaf blows through and she leans in, but she felt this. I didn't have to correct her, but she felt it on the end of it. Uh, and she resisted that temptation. It's huge. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but it really is. Um, we're gonna start some tracking work with her this week before she goes home. Um, that will require um, more just setting it up properly and letting it come out of her naturally. We have started with her holding this um, as a tracking dog. She's, we, we want this hide wrapped bumper to be a big reward, not a chew. She will want to lay down and chew on it if I let her, not a chew. Um, she doesn't have a real strong retrieve, although I've already seen it where I channel her where she doesn't have any other options, she goes out and comes back with it. We used bumpers on the dock. She ran out on the end of the dock, turned around and came right back with them. Um, she didn't have any other options. If she had other options, I think she'd have took them. But, so I want her to be comfortable picking up and carrying this and understanding that we'll share it. Um, so that's something that we're gonna work on and I'm just gonna show you a little bit of today. But we're gonna start out with heel work. So what we start with, we finish with. Majority of the time, at least 60 to 70% of the time, when we go out of the house, I just slip a lead on her quickly. Um, and she's just starting to adjust to the idea of, I just, I just don't get free roam. I gotta go with him. I gotta pay attention to him. Um, I gotta be okay with doing this, nothing. And that's a big challenge for some dogs because if you don't force them to work through their antsiness, they become real needy of a change of scenery. 
And then you, I see owners change the scenery for the dog to keep it settled, change the scenery. No, dog's gonna have to just learn that you're just gonna have to sit there for a while. But you gotta understand, it can only be so long with her, with her patience. So she's losing it right now. Arrow, arrow, heel. And you're gonna notice that loose lead. That's beautiful heel position. My little slip collar, my little slip collar there. The ring is touching the adjustment tab. Now there she starts to drift. That's where she drifted before too. I turn, she notices and turns with me. I turn, she notices and turns with me. I think she's got an itch. I, 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 nose does not go down. I can't let her dictate what we're doing. Leaf goes through, perfect. Stop and sit. There's her scratch. You could kind of see she had this little itch going. All right, that's enough. That's enough, come on. Sit, sit. Very good. We started her sitting to the whistle. I like to use this whistle and incorporate it. I start out with sit first and then we start building the whistle in. Arrow, heel. Loose lead, ah, ah. Loose lead, she goes to reach for it. That was a firm correction. Might have been, eh, it was fine. She responded, she's not gonna do it again. We're gonna walk right over that leaf and you're gonna see it. Good, heel. She's got a really good pace right now. She's a little slow, so I'm gonna speed up. Right over the leaf, good. Nose up, good. Come on, good. Come on, come on, come on. There's the speed I want. So then I'll change directions. She lagged behind, lagged behind, lagged behind. I sped up. As soon as she caught up with me, I slowed down and changed directions. She's gotta, gotta keep her focusing on me and feeling me very good. And let her know when she does it right. A lot of times we're really quick to correct them when they do something wrong. I have to be just as quick to praise them and let them know when they do it right. Good, heel, very good, very good. And the nose is up, I could see that coming. Come on, come on, come on. There she legs behind after a little tap of a correction. Come on, come on, so I'm gonna speed her up. There's her pace, picks up, very good. Good, come on. Now, See how she stopped on me and sat. We just started doing this where we're turning into her. She's very used to turning outside corner. She's gonna have to start turning inside corner. This is a challenge on her feet. This is something that she's gotta learn to back up a little bit with. I'm not gonna walk around her. I'm gonna walk into her. She's gonna turn and get into position with me. We're just starting this, so it's probably not gonna look very nice. Arrow, heel, good. These leaves are distracting, so I'm ready to correct. Come on, here comes one. Come on, good, good. Now when I turn into her, now there's a distraction, so I'm not, come on. There's a car down at the end of the driveway, so I'm not, I see that. I'm not gonna ask her to do something challenging and new. I'm just gonna do what she's used to. Good, very good, very good. And heal her away from it, good. Come on. So we got guys coming in for work and there's noises down there, sit. So we just turn this into a little lesson where she just sits patiently and watches. And you can see she's all, she's very interested in what's going on out there. Good. 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 Arrow, heel, good. Very good. A little whistle to the sit. Good. Good. I'm gonna let those guys go in. Then I wanna show you that turning into her, we're starting to get her feet to work the right way. Arrow, heel. This is a long session already for her. Turn into her. Very good. Uh, uh, uh. Good, arrow, heel. Come on, come on. Do it again. Good dog, good dog, good dog, good dog. Arrow heel, good. A lot of praise when she does something new like that. Good. Good dog. Very good, very good. 
Good, and that's it. So, and to be honest with you, that's a session with her. Now I do want to show you, I want to show you what we're doing with this. I'm not letting her run off with it. She gets kind of excited. She loves the idea of these things. She's just not real solid. I, can't, I throw it out right now, she'll pick it up and she'll run off. She's not gonna come back with it. So I'm not gonna give her a chance to, but I want her to associate this with something really positive. Very good, very good. And I, take, I want her to take it nice. Good, come on, come on, very good, very good. Come on, come on, come on, very good. Ah, ah, ah. Come on, come on, good, good. And I'll encourage her to hold it. I'm not gonna take it away from her quickly. I, this is something that isn't necessarily the strongest, dead, dead, and I take it from her. It's not necessarily the strongest habit um, or trait that she has. I don't know that she's, a, I, I haven't seen a super desire to retrieve out of her. I did get it, like I said, she didn't like the water for a while. Um, and so I got her on a dock and it was, you know, for me to bend away and maybe a little bit longer and I could throw a dummy down to the end of it and she'd chase down, that's just predator prey, natural. She'd chase it down and pick it up and she'd turn around and she had no options because she wasn't going in the water. So I'd stand on the other end of the dock or I'd sat literally on the end of the dock and I'd come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I got her excited and she comes running back to me with it. And then I make sure I cut it off before she gets on shore. Cause if she gets up on shore, I'm not getting her back. Um, that's another part of where this adjustable leader is nice. I can send her wearing that collar and she's not going to trip on it because it's not too long. But it's not going to fall off either because we've got that adjustable tab on it. And she can pick it up and come back to me and then when she comes to me, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, good dog. I can just get a hold of this and I'm not trying to grab a hold of her. I'm not trying to grab a hold of this thing in her mouth. I think a lot of times people get in a hurry and they want to try to grab things out of dogs' mouths when they have it. The last thing I want is to be grabbing something out of this dog's mouth because they're going to become kind of possessive of it. So I get my hand down here and I still have control. Come on, don't let her put it down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good girl, good girl, come on, come on. Very good, very good. And I get here and I praise her for it as long as she's holding it. Good dog. Good dog, did. And all this little drill is doing is starting to get her to understand that I'm not necessarily looking to take it away. I'll share it with you, but you gotta take it nice. I don't want her out of control taking it. Good, come on, come on. I'll share it with her and we'll turn this into a game. See how she wants to go away with it? Come on, come on, come on. So I back up. Good, good, good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I never let her settle. Come on, come on. I never let her settle down and lay with it. Good, good. And I never take, go for it. I never go for the dummy. I praise her with it. Very good. And then I can get a hold of it. But I'm not going, to, what I'm trying to do is get her to understand that this hide wrapped dummy is a really good thing. Because when she starts tracking, this is what will be at the end of the trail. I'll have a hide wrap bumper for her. She'll get something. She'll get the satisfaction of finding something. This is a piece of hide that we, you know, we, we offer the hide pieces by themselves. We just call them real hides. They are real hides. They're, they're fleshed and dried, um, eight by eight square, fits perfectly around this puppy, puppy dummy. And so we're gonna lay the trail using these real hides as well. We're gonna put our blood trail scent on it. We're gonna lay the track. And at the end, this is what they'll find. They don't find, early on we're gonna even use a liver drag. We're gonna do a liver with our venison liver. But then they'll find this and associate this with, man, that is the big reward. So now let's introduce it to her under 100% control. So we've been putzing around with that a little bit. But she's a real interesting dog. Um, I've, I've gotten a lot of people that have commented, uh, we've been done some Instagram stuff with her, and I think part of the thing that's interesting is going into it when I told people what we were gonna do and um, a little bit through the process, I think a lot of people thought, boy, he's in for, he's in for something. He's so used to those labs, um, particularly those British dogs. And I've, I've not done anything different. Um, I do think that it takes at least as much consistency, maybe more, um, 
because that doesn't necessarily come on. That's not necessarily breed. That's just because she was 15 weeks old when we got her, or however old she was. I mean, she's, yeah, I think she was like 15 weeks old when we got her. So now she's 18, gonna be 19 months old uh, or weeks old. And I just think that prior to her coming here, her owners, I don't think they necessarily knew <clears throat> that how, how important it was to be super consistent with some of these really basic things. But what they did do a really nice job of is no accidents. Like this dog hasn't had an accident yet. Um, so she's been housebroken. She's been real, real um, functional stuff. They did a great job with. It's the more formal stuff. And this isn't formal fancy, but it is formal consistency. Um, healing a dog or letting them run freely is a huge difference. And you can get away with letting them run freely when they're really little because nobody cares they're cute nobody cares because they're not going to get into that much they can't get that far away from you you can almost always catch them can't catch her anymore so now we need to have this level of control her recall is good they had a, they did a nice job with recall early on when you do recall that's that's important to make sure you don't um, neglect it for weeks on end um, they did a nice job with that so it's just a step in her process, that's all. But she's coming along really nice. Uh, the kennel is the biggest hurdle, and that's gonna take a ton of consistency. And um, I hate using the word break, because um, I, don't, I don't try to, I think that's a physical thing. I think people miss, have, a, have a misconception of it um, as a real forceful thing. I, I think, I don't mean it physically, I think mentally she needs to be broken of the idea of a little bit of panicky-ness in her kennel. Um, I think that's where a lot of issues come up is people don't put dogs in kennels when they're little and it becomes a really uncomfortable thing for them. That little puppy that I have right now, that little lab puppy is, is several weeks younger and doesn't make a peep in the kennel. But I know where she was at the kennel, they were putting her in a kennel from the time she, now I bet you she cried like crazy the first night or two. But they just didn't, they didn't cave into it and all of a sudden that dog went, oh, this isn't so bad. She's gotta get to that point where she goes, this isn't so bad. She's gotten a lot better. We've got her going in there uh, willingly. We're feeding her in there. We're turning it into a game of how quickly can you get in there, turn around and I'll praise you for it. Um, it's a process. We gotta reverse something that has been put into her for, and it takes longer to do that. So all in all, I'm really, really satisfied uh, with, with our progress. Uh, we've got a long ways to go though.